hello students today we will be dealing about exponents and we will understand how majority of the questions concerning powers or exponents can be solved mentally by having the preliminary knowledge of some basic tricks which are concerned with squaring and cubing now i have already posted two very important videos on my channel trick number 4 you can view that video for learning how we square the numbers mentally and for cubing the numbers trick 19 can be viewed so if you have knowledge of squaring and cubing you can find out most of the exponents and the problems concerned with them can be solved very very easily so let me demonstrate how this concept of squaring and, and cubing helps us to find the problems concerned with exponents now see suppose we have to find 2 raised to power 4 now this is obviously 16 we all know that it is 16 but this example is just to tell you the method in which these uh, squaring and cubing can be used here so just break up this power actually 2 raised to power 4 is 2 raised to power 2 Plus two. So whenever you have power four, you have to square twice. You can write two plus two, or you can write two square raised to power two. So this will become actually four raised to power two, which is sixteen. So if you know the square of two, then you can calculate power four also. And if you know the square of two. Then you can square three times. Two into two into two is eight. So if you know two square is four, now we are left with squaring twice. So if you know the square of four is sixteen, then we are left with squaring once. And final answer two hundred and fifty-six, which will give you two raised to power eight. So instead of multiplying two eight times, we can multiply four. Two into two four. Then four into four sixteen, then sixteen into sixteen two hundred and fifty six. So that will give you two raised to power eight. Say we have six raised to power three. So knowledge of squares can help you find the cube also. Just write it as six raised to power two into six raised to power one. Just break the powers. Three is two plus one, so two six raised to power two into six raised to power one. If you know that square of six is thirty six, then you have to just multiply thirty six by six. So two hundred and sixteen. So these are the fundamental examples. Now the higher concepts of exponents can be solved using this concept. Say more examples. Say we have three uh, raised to power five. Now three raised to power five just break because five is two plus three. So just write two plus three. See we are I have broken down the power. Into two parts, the base remains the same. The power is broken into two parts. Five is two plus three, so two and three. So if you know that three square is nine and three cube is twenty-seven, you have to just multiply twenty-seven and nine. Carry out one multiplication and get three raised to power five. Whereas in traditional method, you have to multiply three five times. So nine seven is sixty-three. Three six carry nine two is eighteen plus six twenty-four. So two hundred and forty-three is the required answer. Now use this concept for finding more powers, squaring and cubing. Say we have power seven of a number. Say we have three. Say I'll take uh, uh, one more number, five. Five raised to power seven. Now five raised to power seven. Break it into even part, and one you can write separately. Now five raised to power six. Five raised to power three, or you can write five raised to power three into five raised to power three. Three plus three is six, or you can write five raised to power two. Into five raised to power two into five raised to power two because six can be broken down uh, as a sum of two plus two plus two, or you can write it five raised to power two cube. So there are so many methods through which you can find five raised to power six. Just break down. Now five raised to power two is twenty five. Now you have to cube twenty five, then multiply by five. For cubing, you need to find the product of 25 square and 25, 625, 625, 625, 625, 625, 625, 625, 625, 625, 625, 625, 625, 625, 625, 625, 625, 625, 625, 625, 625, 625, 625, 625, 625, 625, 625, 625, 625, 625, 625, 625, 625
into 125. Now you are left with finding only one product 625 and 125. All these steps which I have written can be done in mind. See, I'll just show you one more method through which you can find this. Just write 5 cube square. 3 into 2 is 6. So we are done up with power 6. Now we are left with 1 power. So multiply by single step. 5 cube is 125. Now you need to know the square of 125. And for finding the square, in shortcut method, you can use my trick 4 for squaring any digit, any 3 digit number or 2 digit number mentally. So this is 156, 25 into 5. So multiplication by 5 is also done. Mentally put 1, 0 and divide by 2. So your answer will be 7, 8, 1, 2, 5. So you see, the knowledge of squaring and cubing can help you solve most of the exponents mentally. Now, coming to some uh, products in which the base is a product of two numbers. Say we have 12 raised to power 3. Now 12 raised to power 3, if you factorize 12, you get 2 into 2 into 3. Multiplying 12 3 times is difficult, but when you have 2 and 3 in the uh, question, then multiplication becomes easier. So now this becomes, this is 2 square, 4, or you can write 2 square, into 3, raised to power 3, or just separate the powers. 2 square is 4, 4 raised to power 3 is 64, 3 raised to power 3 is 27. So just find one product, 64 into 27 which will give you the required product, this is 1728. This is the cube of 12. Or you can use cubing method, trick number 19 can teach you how 12 can be uh, multiplied 3 times directly to obtain the result 1728. So basic knowledge of exponents and squaring and cubing can help you find out larger powers of numbers and thus you can solve the problems uh, related to exponents which are very very important in banking exams, in all exams which include numerical ability portion. So keep learning and subscribe the channel if you like it.